Hello everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the FICO integration with HyperSetting and show you step by step how you can uh, set up this connection using uh, the latest version of our software, so 2022.1. Uh, we'll start uh, by opening and I will be using a simple example of a GPS antenna for this. So we'll uh, start by opening um, the FICO model in CAD FICO. So this is my starting file, CFX file. Uh, then this file is uh, solved with uh, post FICO. I will not run it now. And once it has been solved, you open the post FICO session to uh, post process some uh, results. In the post FICO session, you can uh, plot some uh, chart plots like for instance you would like to uh, to post process voltage like this uh, display values in db uh, you can uh, give a name of this uh, uh, you can add other etc so you can perform the post processing you would like to to do and now you would like to go ahead and uh, explore, study, optimize uh, this model in HyperSetting. So the first thing you, you need to do is to save your post FICO session. So for this, um, you can go here, save as, so the, the session will have the same name as the CFX file. So GPS patch here. You save it and the last thing you have to do from the post FICO session is to go in application macro utility and here you will see optimize model in hyperstudy when you click on this you will see this window where you can give a name of your study it will be it will create a, a folder with this name um, and inside so there will be the hyperstudy session and all the files will, will be saved there here you will need to set where HyperStudy is installed on your machine. Uh, so on my site, uh, program, out there, 2022, HW desktop, and HST. And you will note that, uh, so when you click on OK here, it will uh, save and generate the Lua script that allows to automate the post processing you have done in the post FICO session and to generate uh, an output file with the results. Uh, HyperStudy will use actually this file to extract the results. And uh, along with this, uh, there will be HyperStudy session uh, automatically open uh, and the model type uh, will be, the connection with FICO will be uh, populated there. So the setup will be uh, already uh, defined. So it is telling you that done creating HyperStudy setup, the HyperStudy interface will now be opened. Okay. And uh, we have HyperStudy that opens on the screen. In defined models, you have already the FICO model defined with uh, our model and the variables are imported. So you are ready to uh, run the nominal run and go ahead with your studies extract the results and go ahead with your studies. Um, now let me show you so the same study here which has already been solved with the same model and for instance uh, I have done here um, a sampling fee to build a predictive model based on these simulations and to be able to make trade-off studies to evaluate the reflection coefficient in this case by changing the values of the parameters uh, or to uh, look at the, the response surface or uh, to perform an optimization here to minimize the reflection uh, coefficient uh, and get some uh, so optimal design that minimize the, uh, the reflection coefficient in this case. Uh, and last thing I wanted to show you so in the folder we have started with uh, the CFX file, it was the starting file and I have saved 
the PFS is here. And when I clicked on OK uh, from application macro utility, it has generated this Lua script automatically that, as I said, allows you to uh, automate the post processing for uh, every new run from Hyperstack. And so this is the folder that has been uh, automatically created when uh, we clicked OK uh, in the post PICO session to generate the component. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.